we're about to go into a meeting right now with Lily Adams and her team. They run communications for the battleground states. Lily has now been with the Clinton campaign from the very beginning. Her grandmother was Ann Richards, fiery, famous Democratic governor of Texas. Her mother is Cecile Richards, who runs Planned Parenthood and is one of the most important progressive activists in the country. Voters, they get most of their news through local news. And so the group that Lily works with here, these guys are out there kind of in the trenches, fighting vote by vote, market by market, station by station, to try to make sure that they can win in states where the margin's gonna be really, really small. I just wanted to go over sort of how yesterday went, how the Philly coverage looks. I mean, it was obviously difficult because the terrorist bombing, um, but Hillary did the millennial speech at Temple, led the news, the evening news, got a couple front pages. We have 13 radio interviews today, both in North Carolina, Florida, Florida uh, right. and throughout all of the battleground states focusing in on urban radio. Can we just make sure that for all the state radios that they're doing, that they have the registration deadlines? That would be great. It's obviously a debate is 26. I do want to make sure we have in our target markets just a debate watch party that can be covered by local press and make sure that there are surrogates who are on tap. The debate, it's not just a national event, but a global event. How do you think about chopping that up as a communications challenge and process in the yeah. battleground states? So I think part of it is just having your team ready to jump on issues that come up that are relevant. Um, obviously the issues that pop in Iowa are different than those that pop in Florida. But having surrogates who are ready to go, who are going to have events afterward, who can amplify the message on that day two, day three, day four coverage of what happened in the debate, I think is really where local news can, can come in and make a difference. Just talk about the way in which your relationship to your family kind of animated your interest in politics from a really early age. My grandmother ran for governor in 1990, and I was on the campaign trail starting from the beginning. To me, she's just, um, she's sort of a, always a presence. The secretary reminds me of her a lot. She doesn't complain, which was certainly a hallmark of my grandmother's uh, time in office. She never complained about things being harder or tougher or trying to break up a good old boys club. She just kept going and it would infuriate her critics and it would rally her, uh, her supporters. All yep. the battleground states have tightened, mm -hmm. nationally tightened. Yep. So just to kind of describe in which the, the, the environment that you work in, what that has felt like. I think part of it is telling the teams in the states to, you gotta have blinders on. They call these states battlegrounds for a reason and we prepared for a competitive race in every single one of them. You know, Barack Obama won Florida by less than a percentage point, it's going to be a very close state. I don't think anyone is preparing for a landslide. We're preparing for us to have to work for it.